Hello everyone and welcome back to HUD Bricks. Today we'll be taking a look at set number 75301, which is Luke Skywalker's X-Wing Fighter. This set has 474 pieces, is ages 9 plus, and retails for $49.99 USD. So without further ado, let's get on into you know, this. It seems appropriate that we should start out with Luke's X-Wing, which looks absolutely phenomenal. It is a little bit downsized since the last time that we got this set, but looks absolutely great. Starting from the front, you can see that right here at the nose, we've got these slope pieces along with another one at the top and that new 2x6 tile, which looks really good with that sticker on top. Next up, we've got the cockpit itself, which is just a regular print that we've gotten from most Luke's X-Wing. You can open it up. You can see it seats one minifigure along with a console. Right up here at the top, you can see that there's room for a single R2 or Astro Mech unit, which looks absolutely fantastic. He sticks out a little bit, but I think that that's okay and he's connected just by a couple of jumper plates. On the side, you can see some extra tile detailing along with some sticker detailing over there and these really cool looking engines right there. The wings have a lot of stickers on them, including this sticker here and this for that extra worn off look. And you can also see that we've got these blasters right here, which don't actually shoot, but you've got a spring-loaded missile right here that you can just flick and there we go. But these are actually almost the same stickers on either side and it's just a mirrored build. On the back, I really like this simple greebling detail there. I also really like this pulse right here, which looks really good in that transparent pink. Now for the main play feature of the set. This is the landed mode where the wings are folded together, but when it comes up, you just hit this right here and it opens up. And I think that looks really good. You can see a little compartment in between, but overall is a really fun play feature. The underside is a little ugly, but it looks pretty good with the wings here. No stickers or anything really similar to the top, but you can see that we just have some skids at the bottom. There is unfortunately no way to retract these right here without actually manually taking it out. So now time for one of the best parts of the set, which is the minifigures. Of course, with Luke Skywalker's X-Wing, you've got to have Luke Skywalker. Luke Skywalker has a great helmet print with those Resistance logos at the top, stripes around the side, and overall a pretty common piece. But you can see that his face print is pretty good. He's got the smirk along with the goggles. And if you turn him around, you can also see that he's pulled up the goggles and has a little smile. Torso printing on the back and front and legs. I really like how they were able to continue that little wire onto the pants and the hip and on the torso if you can see what I'm talking about. The leg printing is also pretty great and the front. Overall, a fantastic minifigure. Next up, we have R2-D2, really common. I got a bit of a misprint there, but overall a fantastic print. Just regular, you can see that he has that blue printing all around his head and his torso. For the next two minifigures, we have our Princess Leia and General Dota Donna. You can see that Princess Leia has that great skirt printing with that new skirt piece on the front for the flowiness and the back. You can also see she has a hood printing on the back and a belt going from front to back. You can also see that she just has a small little gun and she has that very iconic hairstyle which is really nice as a piece. That face printing is pretty good, pretty new, and you can also see she's, she's got kind of a scowl on the back. General Dota Donna looks absolutely fantastic. That is Doc Brown from Back to the Future's hair piece, which is really nice to get. I really like his beard printing there with the extra like wrinkles on his face. You can also see on the back, he's kind of like stunned and he looks very concerned. Back printing is pretty good with just a single line at the top with a different coloration, printing on the legs and torso, which looks pretty good. Now it's time to get down to the nitty gritty where I give you my final thoughts on the set. I think that this set is absolutely phenomenal, overpriced definitely, because that is $50 worth of LEGO, half of $100, and honestly it does not look like it's worth it, but what you're paying for is the theme and also how iconic this is. But it's really nice to get this for a lot cheaper than it has been in the past, even though it is a little scaled down, the minifigures are fantastic and overall is a really good play and display set. So thank you guys so much for watching. Feel free to subscribe so you don't miss out on any of my other LEGO reviews. Also, give this video a big thumbs up if you went on to enjoy it, because it really does help the channel. 
and leave a comment down below and tell me what you think about this set, if you have this set, if you want this set, or any other thoughts or ideas that you have for me. And for now, this is Luke from HUD Bricks, and may the force be with you.